Hello, I'm Steve Kenyon with Greener Pastures Ranching and today I'm going to show you a kind of a homemade solar system. Um, when you buy a solar system that's pre-made, uh, especially when you're in Canada, they end up not working very well because there's not enough solar panel. Um, I think they're designed for places with a lot more sun than Canada, so um, I always end up making my own. So I just buy a regular fencer, and it doesn't really matter what brand, I'm not real particular, this one happens to be a Speedrake 3000. Uh, buy a deep cycle battery, so that could be an RV battery, a marine battery, or there's certain solar ones you can buy, uh, but 12 volt. Uh, we use a regulator to protect it usually. I'll explain a little bit about how you can, if you don't have one, you can still make it work, and a solar panel to make it work. Okay, so I kind of hook all the components up together. So our uh, this fencer here is a Speedrite 3000. Uh, that means it's a three jewel fencer. So we've got to kind of size them right. Uh, in my environment, at my uh, uh, latitude here in Canada, um, I need at least 10 watts of panel, of solar panel, for every jewel of fencer for the summertime use. So a three jewel fencer will need at least a 30 watt panel. So this one actually happens to be 40 watt, a little bit bigger, but um, kind, of, kind of better to be a little bit over than a little bit under. Now once we hit fall, we start running out of sunlight up here, um, I'll double that. So I'll bring a second panel or I'll get a bigger one and replace it. I'll go up to, you know, 80, 80 watt, 90 watt, maybe even 100 watt. And then if I'm trying to do it, uh, you know, something with this in the wintertime, yeah, I, even more panels. I usually triple it or quadruple it for the wintertime. We just don't have enough uh, hours of sunlight here. So what we basically do is get an RV battery, obviously have it fully charged. Solar panel will charge it, we connect to it. Now I'd like to use a charge controller of some kind. This happens to be just the one that came with this panel, um, just to uh, protect it. Now, a lot of these fencers now come with overcharge protection as well, so not that big of a deal. But uh, we connect them up so the, the fencer will hook up to the battery directly. You've got a power cord that runs to the fence, runs to a ground rod here, and we've got the power wires, obviously positive and negative, that go to that. Okay, same thing from the controller. We've got a positive and a negative that goes to the controller. Now the solar panel feeds into the controller, so there, there's two different lines here that we need to pay attention to, they plug in. One is from the solar panel and one is to the battery. Okay. So once those are hooked up, um, we should have a worry-free fencer. Um, works good. Now if you don't have a charge controller, I've done that for years too, where you get a system and you, you just have the solar panel charging the battery. Risk there is having your battery overcharge or undercharge. Okay, so this controller, if you get a good one, it'll protect it from overcharging and undercharging. Uh, cheaper versions just protect it from overcharging. Okay. Now, if you don't have one of those, what I would recommend is a uh, voltmeter. And every time you show up at your pasture and you, you check the battery, if it's you know kind of over 13, you face your solar panel kind of away from the sun for a while, and, and then it'll it'll lower that uh, voltage you're going into. And all of a sudden you got a few cloudy days, you want to make sure, you know, face it back towards the sun. So I've, I've been able to uh, monitor my battery, you know, on a daily or, you know, every two or three days. Not, not a problem, just have that volt tester and test it. If it's, yeah, real simple setup. Um, now the bigger the fencer, you're going to have to have a bigger solar panel. Okay, if you had a six joule or a 12 joule fencer, again, that 10 watts for every joule of fencer. So, yeah, that's uh, how we set up a solar fencer at Greener Pastures Ranch. God bless.